I just went to the Lego store. But not just any Lego store, the Lego store at the Mall of America, the biggest indoor mall in the USA. The only problem is, it's six hours away from my house, so it was a 12 hour round trip, and today we're gonna find out if it was worth it. Welcome to my 500 subscriber special. So why am I going to the Mall of America, you might be asking. Well, we are actually going to see family in Minnesota, which is where the Mall of America is. And it is six hours away, so it is a very long car ride, but I think it's definitely worth it because Mall of America is such a cool place to visit. There's a bunch of different shops in it, and it is one of the biggest malls in the whole world. One eternity later. So after a very long day of traveling in the car, you can see coming up now is the sign for Minnesota. So we finally entered Minnesota. And after a brief night of rest, we woke up and finally we arrived at the mall. So the first thing you see when you go to the Lego store is you see these huge Lego statues all around it. There's like this big mech guy. There's some police on a motorcycle. There's some cavemen. There's a bunch of them. And I was just looking at this big mech guy. It was super cool. I can't imagine how many bricks that thing took to build. It must have been really expensive. If you, th if you think about Lego price per piece, imagine how expensive it would be to build that huge guy. But anyway, inside of the Lego store, there was probably the biggest pick-a-brick wall I have ever seen. I mean, most of the ones up on top are probably fake, but it was really cool to see so many pick-a-bricks. And I made my way around the shop. I found the Lego Star Wars stuff. There's lots of sets there. I was looking at the huge Lego Star Wars UCS Millennium Falcon. I'm surprised they still have that on display there. And then I checked out the Harry Potter section. There's a lot of things at the Mall of America that you don't usually see, like all those brick-built statues. But they do also seem to have more of those bigger sets, like you can find them a lot easier. I bet they have like every single set that is like being sold right now that isn't retired. I bet they have every single one of those. But one of the most interesting parts of the experience was while looking at the Lego Star Wars section, they have this huge Lego helicopter dangling above you. And I remember not seeing that at first and then looking up and being really scared because I thought, oh my gosh, that could fall. Because there's not much protecting the top of the Lego store. It's just like these yellow beams. So that was kind of cool. I don't know how they have it supported up there, but that was a really cool part of the experience. But anyway, after browsing for a while, I did pick up some Lego sets, which we'll look at at the end of the video. But eventually it was time to go back home. Another six hour car ride. Yippee. All right, so I just returned from the Mall of America in Minnesota and after six hours of sitting in a car, I'm very tired, but I did get some great Lego stuff that we'll take a look at right now. All right, so inside these bags got two really cool things. First of them being this buildable Lego character guy. It's like this life-size minifigure thing or not life-size, just upscaled. I think it looks super cool. That's why I got it because I think I could kind of customize it to make it look kind of Star Warsy and stuff. I will view this set in a video soon. And then I also got, or really our family got this Lego Technic combine thing for my grandpa because he is a farmer because it is just like the combine that he has. So overall, really, it wasn't much of a Lego haul, but that's really because the Lego store is not really my favorite place to actually get Legos because they don't usually have very good deals. But I still think these are some super cool sets that we found at the Mall of America. Maybe not worth driving six hours for, but still, they're super cool.